happy last Tuesday of the first semester at Sycamore Junior High School this year. Today is January 11th, 2022, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Anna. And I'm Lily. Thank you for joining us today. And now it's time to unite and honor America by standing and placing our hand over our heart as we say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and please be seated. Continue to finish strong this first semester, and we wish you wonderful hard work and study powers, as well as continue good luck on your exams this week. Now, for our Did You Know, on this day in 1964, U.S. Surgeon General announced the definitive link between smoking and cancer. United States Surgeon General Luther Terry, Terry knew his report was a huge upset. He intentionally chose to release it on January 11, 1964, a Saturday, so as to limit its immediate effects on the stock market. It was on this date that on behalf of the U.S. government, Terry announced a definitive link between smoking and cancer. The link had long been suspected. Anecdotal evidence had always pointed to the negative health effects from smoking, and by the 1930s, physicians were noticing an increase in lung cancer cases. The first medical studies that raised serious concerns were published in Great Britain in the late 1940s. Interesting. Smoking is definitely bad for you. I choose healthy choices. Me too. Next, let's, let's check out yesterday's survey results. Actually, we will not be sharing the poll results because as many of you know, we put out a poll asking who your favorite anchor was. We currently have about 130 responses and 340 students and staff in the classroom, so we will leave that poll up for one more day. If you have not er yet responded, we would really appreciate if you hop onto our communications classroom and fill it out. Um, if you can take a minute to fill it out, it would mean a lot to our class since this is our last week in news group. Yesterday's riddle was, I have many faces, expressions, and emotions, and I'm usually right at your fingertips. What am I? And the answer was, emojis. When you text, they're right at your fingertips. And the riddle for today is, how many seconds are there in January? The answer will be given on tomorrow's daily announcements. Now, for our fact of the day, did you know that today is National Step in a Puddle and Splash Your Friends Day? Day? That sounds fun. If only there were puddles. I know. Next up, birthdays. Happy birthday to Kyo C, Rohan M, and Akilin M. We hope you have a great day and an even better year. Now, on to our astounding and intelligent Mr. Harris with the important activity information. Good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High, and welcome to your daily announcements. All right, just a few announcements today. Partners Club, you will be meeting today. That's Tuesday, January 11th, immediately after school in the cafeteria. Have your parents pick you up when the meeting's over at 4 o'clock in the front of the building. Just a little note, to, uh, Thursday's 8th grade orientation trip up to the high school has been postponed. So 8th graders, you will not be going up to the high school on Wednesday. That will be rescheduled for a later date, and we'll let everybody know that. Speaking of Sycamore High School, do you want to know more about Sycamore High School? Who better to share that information than current, senior, and a few junior aviators? The 18th Annual Student to Student Forum is geared to do just that. A panel of selected students share their unique experience of Sycamore High School academics, innovation lab, athletics, and extracurricular activities during this virtual question and answer session. See the school informational flyer and check your email for more information or go to sycamoregear.org to register. That's it for me. Wear a coat because it's cold outside and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And Mr. Harris, who do we have for our Athletes of the Week? All right, good afternoon, Sycamore Junior High. It gives me great pleasure to present your Athletes of the Week. So our first Athlete of the Week, if she'll step forward, is Gracie Gall. Gracie Gall is a first-year diver on the swim and dive team. And here are a few things her coach said about her. She says she comes every practice ready to give it her all. Um, she is known for perseverance and getting right back up on the board after smacking. And, ooh, gosh, sounds painful, all right? You'll always find her on a pool deck with a smile and a positive attitude. She's an absolute joy on the team, and her teammates appreciate her enthusiasm. So congratulations, Gracie. All right, here is your write-up, and here is your certificate, okay? All right, our next Athlete of the Week is Baden Danner. All right, Baden. 
Baden is a second-year diver, so also the swim and dive team, who's had a tremendous season thus far. He's improved his mechanics and technique, which has earned him impressive scores. He is the leader on the team, and he has placed fifth against tough competitions at two big invitationals, all right? He is the team GJ and always brings the best beats to practice, all right? So congratulations, Baden. Here's your write-up, you. and there's your certificate, buddy. Thank you. All right. Our next athlete is Cammie Schaefer. All right, and Cammie is an athlete from swimming? Mm -hmm. Is this swimming? Okay. Uh, Cammie has kicked in her training into high gear and is showing incredible improvement. She's only missed two practices so far this season, and she's been all in during the winter break training and has become a leader of her lane in practice. She's getting the confidence to challenge herself and not hold back, and we're excited to see her improvement over the final month. So congratulations to Cammie. There's your write-up, and there's your certificate, honey. There you go. And last but not least, our athlete of the week come on up is Ethan Barker. And this is all swimming as well, too, Ethan, right? Yeah. All right. Ethan is a dedicated member of our team for two years. His commitment, willingness to listen, attendance at practice, at practice and hard work ethic have earned him this honor. His performances, he's improved every meet, and his efforts will definitely show you more as we reach the end of the season championship meet. So congratulations to Ethan. Here is your write-up, and there is your certificate. All right? So congratulations to all of our athletes of the week. Thanks. I'm out. See you. And now over to Lily with our Pets of the Week. Hello everybody, and welcome to the last Pet of the Week segment for this semester. I will be able to host next semester, so I'll be, at, I'll be back next Wednesday. This week's pets are Oakley, submitted by Ada B, Leah, submitted by Liam B, Thor, submitted by Owen C, Tucker and Toby, submitted by Madeline F, Ollie and Belle, submitted by Simon G, and Busky, sub submitted by Nutsa S. Okay. Last week for the breed guest, most of you thought that it was a gray lab, and most of you were incorrect. The correct answer was a silver lab. Congratulations to anyone who got it right. Okay, here's the picture for this week. Let us know what breed you think on the SGH Google Classroom. Thanks to Gracie G for this picture. Have a good day. Okay, Anna, what's for lunch today? Welcome to this lunch segment with Anna and Regis is not here today, so it's just me. For lunch today, there will be spaghetti with meat sauce or marinara and a breadstick, as well as the usual chicken sandwiches, pizza, and wraps. And if you are planning ahead for tomorrow, there will be a walking taco bar. Have a great day! That's all we have for today. There will not be a daily poll in the hopes that a couple more of you guys can fill out um, the anchor survey. Okay, now for our joke of the day. What did one plate say to the other plate? I don't know. What? Dinner's on me! <laughs> 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 that one, okay. Go Games! Games.